Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3k in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Marsha bought a birthday card, so we've got $2.86 spent on that. We have a pen for $1.57. She paid with a $20 bill. How much change should she have received? So we have a little bit of a real-life problem here. We've got three different quantities, $2.86, $1.57, and $20. Well, when she's buying things... She's spending money. So we do know we are going to need some subtraction. We do need some subtraction not only because of that idea of when you're buying things, but also change, right? Change comes when you pay more than you need to. So we're going to see that what she bought does not equal $20. It's nowhere close to $20. So she's going to get some money back. But we don't know how much she spent yet. We know that she spent $2.86 on a birthday card. We know that she spent $1.57 on the pen. So I'm going to put BC right there. I'm going to put the pen right there. We need to add those up first. So before we even subtract, we need to add those up. We need to see what our total cost is. So I'm going to say TC down here, total cost. Then we'll take that away from 20. So let's see, 6 and 7, that is going to be 13. Let's carry that 1. 1 and 8 is 9. 9 and 5 is 14. Carry that 1 again. You notice I just brought my decimals straight down. When we are adding or subtracting decimals, we line them up perfectly. And we bring the decimal straight down into our sum or difference, depending on our operation. Then 1 and 2 and 1 is 4. So she spent a total of $4, total cost, $4.43. So if we put those together, that's how much she spent, four forty-three. Now we can subtract that. But this is where the difficulty comes. How do we line it up? Because I said we always line up the decimals. And I know where my decimal is in 4.43. But where is my decimal in $20? So where do I put the 443? You will sometimes have to subtract or add numbers, and only one of them has a decimal. So when you are stuck with this, here's what you do. You locate the ones place. So here's my ones place right there. The decimal always goes immediately to the right of the ones place. And so if we have that decimal there, I can put that decimal there. I can put this decimal here and everything starts to line up. 4, 43. I'm going to subtract, but that's kind of problematic. I don't have any digits in my top row, in my 20, in the 10 cent or the, the hundredths place, right? So what can we put in these empty spots right here without changing the value? It's just 20 bucks. It's not... $20.50 or whatever, most of you see at this point, aha, we can always add zeros. And that is the case with any decimal. You can add as many zeros after the decimal, after the decimal, as you want to, without changing the value. And before we even get too much farther, take a look at B right here. They lined everything up and they did the wrong operation. They added rather than subtracting. So that's why B is incorrect. We need to subtract these two, which means we need a lot of borrowing. We have to go all the way over here. That's our first non-zero digit. That's a one. And then we have to go one step at a time. That's a 10. Now it's a nine. That's a 10. Now it's a nine. That's a 10. Now we can do it. So you can do all that work. And if you subtract incorrectly with all that regrouping, it's not going to work. So that is seven. That is five. That is five. And that is one. So my answer is going to be $15 and 57 cents A.